As you all know the age old cliche, records are meant to be broken. But in the past couple of years, technology and swimming has come to the point where records are shattered, smashed, annihilated, and absolutely destroyed with the new technology of certain swimsuits that have come out. And I am here to tell you that it's not it's not what I believe is good and I feel like we should go back to the old swimsuits because what is going on with these swimsuits is above and beyond what a person's natural ability is in swimming. Uh, what the problem is, is Speedo, uh, TYR, Nike, Arena, and Jacket are the top uh, manufacturers in swimsuits these days. They teamed up with NASA, they have NASA, the NASA, to make brand new swimsuits that have gone, they have technology enhanced swimsuits to the point where swimmers really don't have to do anything to swim, the suit pretty much does it for them. All they gotta do is swim across the water, and the suit does things you would never imagine. Uh, they've actually come up with unprecedented results. They have broken 51 world records in after six months of unveiling swimsuits, which has raised eyes to pretty much everyone. Uh, what these swimsuits do is they look to improve on unnatural abilities. Uh, I'm going to get into that. Uh, what they have improved, uh, buoyancy, which is the ability to float above the water. Uh, certain suits have given athletes the ability to stay above the water at spots where they shouldn't because natural ability gives you a uh, certain, well, your natural ability gives you a certain amount of velocity and stuff, and these seats just <laughs> send it to a whole nother level. Uh, decrease in drag. Drag is the resistance against you when you're swimming. Uh, they have used polyurethane panels to, uh, what that is, is they are uh, panels on the swimsuits, uh, kind of like this stuff right here. And what that does is, when you're swimming across the water, as water hits you, it in essentially takes the water and throws it past you so you can get through the water more quickly. Uh, turbulator. Turbulator is an element in which alters the fluid dynamics of water as it passes over you, pretty much the same thing. Uh, bonded seams that are stitched, uh, if you it's stitch, like you stitch things together, they don't do that, they actually bond them together, which also creates less drag. Uh, these suits, uh, actually some of these, like that one right there, it takes almost 30 minutes to get into. Uh, it also maintains your posture while you're swimming. So instead of, uh, if you have good technique as a swimmer, that doesn't matter anymore. Like if you wear that suit, it's gonna give you the best technique ever. And after all is said and done, these suits create 5% less effort on the person, which means they have more, uh, they have more effort to finish the race, they have more energy than they should if they were wearing a swim, natural swimsuit. Uh, I was going to go to drag a little more. Like I said, drag is the amount of resistance that a swimmer has while they're swimming. Uh, the amount of drag that a, per that a swimmer has depends on the shape, size, and velocity of the swimmer. Uh, for Michael Phelps, for example, I mean, he's 6'5". Uh, that's out, honestly, in that suit right there, that's going to give him less drag than if, say, I was jumping in the pool and wearing the same suit. Uh, less drag equals less energy, like I said, so they have more energy for the finish. Uh, and I'm going to show you a video of the 2008 Olympics. And what this is, is the last leg of the race. It's called to the also, was that green line? That's the world record right there, that green line. Thank <laughs> you. 
still in shock. We're going to play the finish here in real speed here to give you an idea of how incredible this swim was for Lisa. Look at me. And as she pointed out, we're not starting to tighten up. Lisa, short to the door for turning out. Uh, if you saw there, every single one of those athletes were wearing one of those brand new suits. Uh, the USA had the, <laughs> the USA had the red, white, and blue ones, while the French were wearing the uh, Jacob ones, which is their national sponsor. Um, my one way to solve this is there's criteria for the uh, National Swimming Federation, or it's called FINA. Uh, there's certain criteria for buoyancy, drag and all that, and if these seats, if the, most of the seats that they have already do not meet those standards, and they have allowed them in swimming competitions. Uh, if they can't meet the seat, if they can't meet the criteria, they should ban all of those seats. I feel uh, that back in the day, all they had was Speedos. Uh, they've elevated to jammers, which are from the waist to the knees. Uh, as you can see on the first slide, they go from the waist down, and they can have full body suits. Every part of your body is covered in a swimsuit. Uh, I feel like they should, ban those or test them to calculate because some actual, some uh, manufacturers say that they've tested them and shown results. They actually have been false. And one other thing that I found was that this is a, a graph that shows the amount of drag compared to the velocity in the suits. Uh, the blue one is a regular suit, not, no technology added into it, and the red one is the technology enhanced one. The blue suit actually creates more velocity. The normal one actually creates more velocity than the new ones. Yet, everyone's wearing the new ones, everyone's switching over, and records are just getting smashed, and I feel like that's really not true. Um, and I also feel like that if this guy right here, Mark Spitz, uh, he won seven gold medals, he wore a USA Speedo, that's all he wore. If he can do that in a Speedo, then I think Michael Phelps can do it too.